Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Heavy duty, warm water, large water level, max oil level, pre-wash, and second rinse. What am I washing? Flannel sheets. Oh, okay. So they will be getting another pod for the main wash. Oh, it's a fitted sheet. These are all queen size. Fitted sheet, two pillowcases, my um, one and only shorts <laughs> for to wear around the house, and the sheet. And this is the protective uh, mattress protector for the the fitted one. It's drying in here. Anyway, it's like. Part cloth, part plastic. I only gave it a a regular wash with um, bleach and one free in Tide Pod free. At first, I was like extra large, but the I saw how much space there is at, from the top. I was like, let me try large load first. And see what happens. All this that's dry is gonna get is gonna drink up a lot of water. Smells good already. What happens between the pre-wash and the wash is a spin with no spray rinse. So there will be some residue from the pod, this pod, left in the sheets. So it's going to double up when I add the other pod during the main wash. Let's see if large level was perfect. Yeah, it was. How about that? Here comes my one and only. When I washed this, I washed it on medium water level. That was perfect too. Of course I had stubborn uh, air pockets, but they disappeared quickly. I will use these maybe one more time and not too long, not for too long. And then I gotta wash them again and then put them away for the summer, spring and summer. So during the main wash, I will add some OxyClean. I'll probably start the load. Well, I would have to reset it. Okay. Yeah, I'll leave it alone. I'll add some OxyClean and another pod.
yesterday or last night I watched uh, season four of Where the Bears Are. And I put in disc one, and when the menu popped up, it said that it had, you know, the bonus features, the extras, and it's like, oh no, they reversed the labels. So I put in disc two, and that's where the main uh, show was. So I watched disc two first, and then I went to the extras, the other disc. And comes to find, come to find out, there was a reason that the extras were put on the first disc. So if you, anybody out there is a fan of the show and they decide to order the DVD set of season four of Where the Bears Are, you need to watch the New Year's party, the New Year's episode um, from the extras DVD first before you go into the fourth season. I didn't know that. But that's okay, it all made sense in the end. So yeah, if you get season 4 on DVD, go to the extras, which is disc 1. Watch the Halloween... Halloween. <laughs> the New Year's Eve special. And then continue on to disc 2 to the main show. And actually, season 4 was a lot better than season 3. Season 3 was... yeah, it was alright. Um, season 4 was a whole lot better. Um, I really enjoyed it. Okay, it balled up again. I gotta take care of that. I have to turn on the fan, it's getting warm in here. And there's that stupid lean. What I noticed on the 4 series is that when you set the water level to large, this is exactly what you're, or maybe it was extra large, I don't remember. This is exactly the exact water level you're gonna get. The reset, when you twist and hold to add more water, for the wash, it's gonna stop automatically where this one stops for the extra large load. But I also found out that during the rinses on the four model, that's four, cuatro, F-O-U-R. <laughs> um, on the rinses, you can actually overflow the machine if you hold the reset button too long. Or knob. Love this turnover. That's it. That's all the pre-washes. I don't know what was that. Ten minutes? Seven minutes?
tell you what, when it comes to the cold season, I love my flannel sheets. Oh my God, just the softness of them, the warmth. Oh, I love flannel sheets. But when it gets too hot, okay, bye. <laughs> I need some cool cotton sheets. <laughs> Alright, when it goes to the main wash, the blue LED light from the pre-wash is going to shut off. You know what, I changed my mind at when that happens. I'm going to pause it, reset it, so I can get more hot water in there. Not that much, at least up to the low water level, and then switch it to warm. But I'll still keep it large, I'll still keep it max, and I'll still keep the second rinse. See? There we go. Pause. Reset. Take the pre-wash off. That stays the same. This is going to change. Alright, I got to get the OxyClean in. And the pod. OxyClean is in. It's almost reaching the low water level. I decided to wait on the pod. I'll add it to when it's full. So this is all hot water right now. That's right about where low water level is. I'm gonna keep it going until where the curvature of the agitator vein starts. And it's about there, okay. Switch it to warm. There we go. It's almost cool. When the water reaches that hole right there on the agitator, it'll stop filling. Pot is right here. Main wash. Oh, there's the pot. Don't worry, the wash is long enough, it'll dissolve. Some people might ask, why do I give a pre-wash to towels, whites, and sheets? And as far as the towels and sheets is to loosen up the grime that's in them, you know, from all the sweat, and mostly to get rid of a lot of the dead skin cells. Um, the main wash is just to make sure that they're thoroughly clean. And as far as whites go, you know, I like to use bleach in the pre-wash and then OxyClean in the main wash. It's just my thing. I like to make sure that they're 
cleaned properly and definitely have to have enough rinses. For whites, I usually, I have been using the third rinse option just to make sure that no Clorox is left, no OxyClean, no detergent residue is left in them. Um, otherwise, when depending on the amount of the load, the size of the load, it might be a little stiff after drying because there's still a lot of residue from those additives in them, which of course can cause the skin to itch. You know what? It's gonna extend the wash, but. Eco normal. Let me get the spray rinses. Then I'll go back to the. Ah, it added more water. Now it's the proper water level. That way, I'll get more residue removed with the spray rinses. I'll still do the two rinses afterwards. At the last minute I added um, botanical mist unstoppables. We're in March now. This month marks the last payment for this washing machine. And the last payment's over $400. Which is fine. It's been like a car payment for the past um, two months. Three months if you include this one. And believe me, I felt it. I'm still feeling it. This is gonna run out if I wash again, when I probably will within two weeks. The Unstoppables, the OxyClean's almost done. The Unstoppables is almost done. I've got enough dryer sheets. That's a brand new Botanical Mist dryer sheets box ready. I still got a few Clean Breeze scented downy dryer sheets. It's a brand new box I just opened uh, a couple weeks ago of um, um, Moonlight Breeze from Gain dryer sheets and then um, and then behind that is another box of botanical mist dryer sheets, which is running low. If you guys can see where the line is for the fabric softener, that's how much I have left. I have maybe about a quarter of a bottle left of botanical mist 
fabric softener. You guys saw when I reached into that canister of pods. I have another pod, um, canister just like that underneath there in the back. So I'm good as far as detergent goes. But yeah, I've been feeling it between the mortgage and everything and the payment of this washer. Yep, I fell behind. And then my sister had decided to have a party on the past weekend for her birthday, her and my niece. So a lot of money went into that too. Between the gifts and the alcohol, I took a giant bottle of rum chata or rum chata. <laughs> it's an orchata flavored, orchata flavored liqueur and it is really good. This was the first time I tasted it. And I took a bunch of those little solo shot cups, the little red ones, and two bottles of tequila rose. If you guys have never had tequila rose, it's basically strawberry quick with tequila. Oh my god, that stuff is so good. I tried that ages ago and I fell in love with it. And ramchata is really, really good too. If you ever had horchata, it's basically a rice and cinnamon drink. You might find at um, a lot of um, Mexican specialty um, supermarkets. And, you know, along with other types of refreshing waters, pineapple, even pistachio, um, membri, not membrillo, um, tamarindo, which is tamarind, um, mango, um, what's the other one, the other famous one, hibiscus, which is Jamaica in Spanish. Um, yeah, it's right up there. And it's pretty good. It was really good. I enjoyed it. We didn't finish. I bought a huge bottle. It was 30 bucks at Walmart. And someone told me that the same size bottle at Costco was like 50 some bucks or 60 some bucks, which is ridiculous. I thought my price, the price that I got it was for was ridiculous, but... And the bottles of Tequila Rose are the big bottles and they're about six, 17 bucks each. And I still have one left over for the next party. <laughs> Or get together. <laughs> but we had a good time. A lot of family came in from out of town, from out of state. gotta show you I know that thing balled up again but oh well I was about to start watching the X-Files I have about three episodes that I haven't watched but then I was like no I'm gonna watch this it's a series of movies and I ordered this on Amazon because I was gonna get them one by one and they're about 24 27 you know they're expensive on their own but then I saw this gift pack shipped from Germany and it's got all five and I remember seeing eating out at the Gay and Lesbian Film Festival many many moons ago and one of our local DJs had a cameo appearance on there Pistol Pete uh, Jim Verraro stars in I don't know if he stars in all of them but he does star in a few of them and he was if you remember him he was from American Idol 1 um, obviously not one of the winners but that was Callie Clarkson <clears throat> who won that one so I'm gonna watch the first one I haven't watched it in years me and my friends are planning a staycation yeah staycation around pride and I think it's the first weekend of April or if not the second weekend of April I don't remember We're going to stay at the Embassy, Embassy Suites, and of course, if y'all stayed at Embassy Suites before, you get two hours free happy hour <laughs> from 5 to 7. And it's not a full bar, but it's good enough. <laughs> and we, depending on who they bring for the Pride Festival, 
we really don't want to go to the Pride Festival, but I mean, if we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. We really want to attend the parties afterwards. Um, just have fun, you know, meeting people from out of town, out of state. And then we do want to do the parade following the next day, next morning. Depending on the load that I have in here, I still get tub index. See, there's a slight tub index now. Yeah, before I forget, um, to Pat Cola, I hope you enjoyed your time here. I hope you enjoyed the weather. I don't remember because we did have a lot of, little bit of a crazy weather, um, a little bit of crazy weather in the past three weeks. I mean, it was warm. We were in the 80s. The nights were in the 60s. And then we had rain, and then everything dropped. We, for a couple of days, we dipped down into the high 30s. And the high during the day was in the 60s. So it's starting to warm up again. Um, but March is always like that here. Um, sometimes we get a good rain or even a little bit of rain. And it'll dramatically change our weather. And sometimes it doesn't. But most of the time it does. So I hope you enjoyed your time here. If not, at least the weather. Bye.